Mike and I worked together at a company called Microsystems International. And I decided with Mike that we would break away and start a company up. And we decided to work together. We were very friendly together. We, we liked business together and so on. And we got into a number of very interesting new products that we totally developed ourselves. But frankly, we didn't think that was a long-term uh, program. And then got hold of a company in the UK that made these silent lawnmowers, cordless electric. And so we invested a little of the $4,000 that we raised. I mean, this was very little money, even in 1972, 73. And we brought in some lawnmowers because Sears said they thought there was a great market for silent lawnmowers. I mean, remember, this is a time when Concord couldn't land in New York because of noise. Noise pollution was a big, big thing at the time in all of the newspapers, and people say, you know, we need to live in a, a quieter environment. And here we were bringing in lawnmowers, and they got lost. Here were lawnmowers that didn't come in until the end of September. Now, you know, in Canada, you can't even give away lawnmowers in October, I can tell you. In fact, I went around Canada knocking doors, trying to get people interested in the silent lawnmower. I didn't sell one, not one damn thing. It failed. But Mike and I worked absolutely around the clock, seven days a week. Sometimes we'd work totally all night. And we came up with a, a new tone receiver, an incredible product. And those tone receivers came along at a time when everybody wanted push button phones. Pop, 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 touch tone. And the most costly item about push button phones was actually the tone receivers I talked to all kinds of makers of switches, and they all wanted the Mitel receivers. And they all wanted receivers of different shapes and sizes, which we designed. So it totally took off, and boom, that started the company up. Mitel was the first company to get into that whole business of IP telephony and therefore maintaining its business momentum. And then later on, another absolutely earth-shattering change into the world of cloud computing. And, and what does that characterize? It means for customers, they can buy customer premise equipment now and later on move to a cloud environment or the other way. And not only that, but do things in multiples. So suddenly you can put multiple versions of what we would historically call PBXs onto a cloud framework and run it as services, software as a service.